Hi there, Champs and Chabats, Brush and Quill here, and I'm coming at you with a video about the French Commanders that I unboxed in the last video. Uh, plus, a little bit more. There's uh, figures here from my last two unboxings, actually. So, um, so yes, these are some command bases for my 28 mil Napoleonics, so the uh, German division I've been doing for Talavera. Um, so yeah, I got together some command uh, bases on 40 mil rounds just to sort of lead them into battle, really. Now this over here is uh, the Prince Jerome, and um, I believe this was uh, Quio, Quiet, yeah, Q U I O T. Um, yes, I've painted them up. Um, Jerome standing in for his brother Joseph, um, who was king of Italy, then king of Spain. So I tried to make him a little bit fancy. I actually googled Joseph to sort of get the uniform, the gold sash and the so the red sash and the gold belt, um, and then the star and and all the detailing like up around the gold collar and stuff. Um, there was no picture of him on a horse, so I sort of just made the horse look a bit fancier with the red reins and everything um, and then here's his attendant uh, just some little blobs there to sort of represent little eagles in the corner so yeah that and then the other metal figure that came in the set was this guy here um, who I have converted so this hand here is actually from the uh, Vitrix British, um, without him, with him being on his own and not part of a set, he looked kind of a bit weird, kind of fist pumping the air. Uh, so I decided to switch it to a pistol, and there's a little Vitrix infantry captain there. Um, and obviously, he's you know, willing to take a shot and, and have a look at the battle and see what's going on there. Uh, and the captain there just sort of also observing. Um, Maybe viewing out what his next objective is, as he's being told. I painted this guy up in a white uniform, um, just because I got bored of painting dark blue. He was the last figure I painted, and I'd painted five dark blue uniforms by this point. So I painted him up in white with this nice purple. Uh, maybe it's his old uniform, uh, or something, I, I don't know. Um, maybe he's one of the Kingdom of Holland guys. Um, they were white uniforms. So yes, yeah, so that's that one. And then the final base I did is from the Bavarian Vitrix set. Uh, so you get two mounted kernels in that. Um, and again, a bit of conversion work here. So the arms are from the French Vitrix set, as is the head, to give him epaulets um, and look like he is a captain. But the rest of him is from the Bavarian set. And then the drummer here is also from the Bavarian set. He's just straight out of the box. Uh, painted up as a grenadier drummer. Now these actually aren't ooh, Bavarians in my army, they're uh, troops from Baden, which is one of the other German states. So um, that's why they're in dark blue and not cornfield blue, just because they're uh, standing in for their cousin Germans. Yeah, so yeah, so that's those three. Um, they'll go alongside my ooh, larger base. Oops. Move these forward a bit. My larger base that represents my general. <clears throat> to give me uh, an overall command and then three brigades when using black powder. And um, yeah, so that's it. Um, stuff coming up. I've got more red coats to paint for commission. Um, they're sort of on their way, so there's some Warlord ones. I've also got some Vitrix red coats as well, so that's coming up. Um, yeah, and you know me, I'm always doing random stuff, painting up a mouse for the wife. So, um, so yeah, you guys have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.